Fluke redefines vibration screening with the Fluke 805 vibration meter. Easy, reliable, and foolproof. Setup. You can always take a quick measurement on the go, but we recommend you first set up a machine ID. The setup only needs to be done once, and it helps you to store and trend your measurements and view severity levels. For this demonstration, measurements are taken on a horizontal pump. When the horizontal pump is selected, the Fluke 805 will compare the measurements taken to a database of 37 machine categories. The drivetrain's motor is identified by the driven component. So even when taking a measurement on the motor, you should identify the location of the driven component. Next, we enter RPM range. Then we enter the machine name. Measure. Hold the meter perpendicular to the test surface as close to the bearings as possible. Use the tool only as specified and comply with all safety codes and use personal protective equipment. Press the sensor tip onto the solid metal surface until the green LED comes on. If you don't press hard enough or release too soon, a red LED will tell you that the test has failed. Within seconds, Crest Factor Plus, overall vibration and temperature readings will be displayed. Save, screen, and trend. The severity scales give a better understanding of what actions, if any, need to be taken. Good. No repair action is recommended. Satisfactory, no immediate repair action is required. Increase the frequency of measurements and monitor the condition of the machine. Unsatisfactory, have a vibration technician conduct more advanced testing at the earliest opportunity. Consider taking maintenance action during the next planned downtime or maintenance period. Unacceptable, have a vibration technician conduct more advanced testing as soon as possible. Consider immediate shutdown of the machine to make repairs and prevent failure. You can save, store, and trend your measurements using the Excel template. The 805 can store up to 3,500 measurements. The Excel template will allow you to compare your results to ISO standards. The 805 has an external sensor connection at the bottom. Any standard ICP type single channel accelerometer connected with a sub-miniature version B connection will work with the 805. The 805 also has an audio jack for headphones. Forget the pen, think meter instead. For more information, visit fluke.com slash thinkmeter.